Hey Dan, it is uh, the 21st, but this uh, video is all from yesterday. This is the door leading to the guild hall, uh, the traditional guild hall in Tallinn, uh, which was the merchant's hall. And it was part of, um, now this is now part of the history of Estonia. There's like a whole series of museums. Um, but the, the guild hall, they were part of the Hanseatic League, um, which sounds like Premier League, Bundesliga, Hanseatic League, but it was actually a group of merchants who had grouped together in really between Germany and here uh, to control commerce. Um, it, really, it's kind of like, um, you know, an old version of NAFTA, I think. Uh, but anyway, it's um, this particular museum is in the old guild hall, and uh, I just shot a couple of photos and just a little bit of video in here. Um, this really deals with, um, as you can see, much uh, older Hist Estonian history. You know, when did Estonians become Estonians, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, you know, I thought it was interesting. Um, it took, it took me about maybe half an hour to walk through. It was just a lot of just typical historical stuff. Um, the building dates to the 15th century. This is an interesting spot. So actually musicians went through this little archway and up where those placards are, they actually sat up there and played for the guild. Um, this was uh, dress up with me. Now I moved on to the... Museum of Occupations, and this deals with the occupation of Estonia from 1940 until 1991. The Soviets occupied from 1940 to 1941, the Germans from 41 to 44, and then the Soviets from 44 to uh, 91. So again, this is, um, the great thing about this museum is it's, a lot of it's told from uh, first person from people who actually went through um, either being living in occupied Estonia or having escaped Estonia. Some of them even, uh, there's a third group, and those are the people who were imprisoned. Uh, most of them were shipped to Gulag or to Siberia. Um, and the great thing about this museum is the overarching theme of this museum is that we're not here to talk about or blame the Soviets. Uh, oh, this is an interesting little bit. Um, so there was a group called the Forest Brothers, and they were the people who lived in the forest. They were essentially were guerrilla fighters, like the underground French in World War II. Um, anyway, the overarching theme is not that they're going to blame the Soviets and complain about it, but that they are going to acknowledge what happened and then talk about how to move on and how to be better and good now. So I, I thought that was really interesting. Um, and um, there was one quote in particular that said, if you, know, you want to laugh, the world will laugh with you. And if you want to cry, go into a room by yourself. Um, you know, so certainly Estonians have experienced what a lot of people and classes of people have experienced around the world. Um, and somehow they, you know, they're celebrating having pulled through um, which is, you know, again, um, it was a, it was a good so museum. So that was my yesterday and, um, the day before we went to, uh, the second half of the, um, marine art, not marine art, that's what I'm, uh, the, uh, marine history, marine history museum, um, which was down at the Seaplane Harbor, and I've got a bunch of video of that as well, uh, which I will post. Um, but it is now Monday, I guess, Martin Luther King Day, um, and we are more than a week through, more than halfway through our trip. Um, and it's, you know, it's going well. I think there's times when I, I feel like, okay, I think I'm ready to go home uh, just because I need more to do um, but I still have plenty to do here. I'm going to go wander the streets right now and try to go down some alleyways that I haven't been down yet. Um, so I hope you're well. 
uh, that you're happy about the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers making it into the playoffs. Uh, when I got up this morning, I was able to watch the highlights. That's the great thing about being here is, you know, I mean, we're 10 hours ahead of you and eight hours ahead of Winona, um, is that, you know, really, when we wake up in the morning, all the news has already happened, meaning we don't get any new news, none of the news feeds update, really, with any new information until four o'clock our time in the afternoon. So really, from the time we get up until the time, um, you know, until dinner, uh, it's, it's nice because I don't have to check my phone because nothing's going on, uh, at least in my part of the world. So I will, um, uh, I guess I'll talk to you soon. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.